Welcome back, or welcome if you're just joining us. It's the France 24 debate, and uh, we're looking at the spiraling tension between Pakistan and India, which happens to come at the same time as there was a long scheduled visit by the Saudi Crown Prince MBS, first in Pakistan, next in India. India's ambassador to France, Vinay Mohan Quatra, is with us. Welcome back. Welcome back uh, as well from Washington, Kamran uh, Bokhari, who is director of the Center for Global Policy. We're also in the company of uh, Jean Luc Racine, who uh, is with uh, the Asia Center here in Paris and uh, France 24's very own Leela Jacinto. The rising rhetoric uh, palpable on uh, both sides of the border in Kashmir. Go India, go back, uh, go Modi, go back. The chanted several hundred in uh, Muzaffar Muzaffarabad, that's the capital of Pakistani administered uh, Kashmir this Monday, while anti-Pakistan protests, like the one uh, last Friday in uh, Jammu, are on the rise uh, uh, in India, as well as calls to boycott cricket matches, Pakistani Bollywood actors, the prime minister who has repeated warnings of reprisals. I fully understand the anger in the country. People's blood is boiling because of this attack. The expectations that the country currently has and the emotions to do something about this are completely natural. We have given full freedom to our security forces. How far will it go, Ambassador? Will it mean some kind of cross-border incursion? Thanks. Uh, if, uh, if you permit, I'll just like to come back to uh, three other moving points which were made by the panelists uh, prior to you went into break. One concerned with terror and talks. Other was uh, the point which Mr. Bukhari made from Washington about connecting the dots in terms of uh, terror incidents. You referred to Iranian incident, and he, he talked about connecting dots in that. And now the third point which, which came across uh, both from the panelists present here was about the, the reaction. Uh, which is sort of going. So let me first uh, pick up the terror and talks uh, point of view, which I think is uh, is very important. I think if you look at, if you go back four, four years, four and a two years, two months, 2014 May, Prime Minister Modi uh, takes oath of the government. And what is his first step which he takes? He invites all the uh, prime minister, heads of states and governments of South Asia to his swearing-in ceremony. Including Nawaz Sharif. Including Nawaz Sharif. The Prime Minister of Pakistan Minister. at the time. Then uh, he travels to Afghanistan on a bilateral visit. And on his way back, he uh, decides to make a stop in Pakistan. Uh, uh, again, uh, goes across to the residence of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Uh, uh, makes, uh, you know, an, uh, uh, makes a tremendous, takes a tremendous risk of putting political capital, his own political capital risk, by undertaking these visits. Uh, what, do, what does India get in return? India gets in return continuing terrorist attacks. Uh, that is why I think uh, our leadership has made it very clear. We are all for talks. We think disputes should ultimately be resolved through talks. And there is a mechanism between India and Pakistan to resolve those disputes, which is outlined in Shimla Agreement of 1972 and the Lahore Declaration of 99. But we are also very clear that talks cannot go ahead if the terror continues. So what's going to be the response now? Uh, so now coming to the second point, which is relating to the response. I think uh, if you look at the uh, prime minister's reaction uh, immediately after the Fulwama attacks, he, he clearly said that in addition to condemning the attack, that the bloods of the uh, CRPF soldiers who died in this attack, uh, it will not go in vain. Uh, we from our side are absolutely committed to take all measures necessary for the protection of our sovereignty and territorial integrity from the cross-border terrorism. At this stage, I think that should suffice. Uh, may I just, if with your permission, take 30 seconds to, yes, you know, I know, I know it is very, uh, sometimes very uh, uh, attractive to perhaps uh, link it to the upcoming elections in India. I think, in, in my personal view, it would probably be trivializing the death of 40 people if you say that it, you know, there is a reaction to that, it's linked to in any way to the reaction. I think it's a plain and simple terror incident which has evoked massive grief and outrage in India. 
And I think uh, 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 government would assess all its options based on that. And Prime Minister's own statement is, I think, quite clear on that one. 